Right, welcome back to my channel. This is episode 27 of the weekly uploads, I believe. And yeah, we start this episode off midweek because I had a pretty slow start to the week, nothing much sharing. But um, other than that, we uh, get the updates of the new build, get everything cleaned out, ready for floor to go down. And um, Friday, we start out digging the new extension. So um, obviously, we mark that out, get everything set up and start digging. So um, hope you're all looking forward to that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, it's Thursday morning and we're all on the new build site. Today, we just got to clean out the building, get it all ready for insulation and um, polythene and screed. So we just got to get all the cladding out, sweep up and just do a bit of snagging. So um, we'll get cracked on and update you when we're finished. Well, now uh, all these stuff's out, you can see it's looking quite grand in here. So uh, I think yesterday the scaffolders came, took down the birdcage. So um, now once the floor's up, then the plasterboard can come, finish this lower section. As he, he's done in the bathroom because that's on stud work, so that's easy to hang up. But yeah. It's looking pretty good. Have a quick look upstairs in a minute, but obviously we've got a big set of bifold doors there, fixed pane window, and a nice vaulted ceiling with balcony section at the top. What I do. And then in here we have see the bathroom, because it's been uh, aqua boarded, and then little bedroom section and a walk-in wardrobe. So I have a quick look at the top now. And here, we go. See, it's quite, um, looks quite a lot bigger from up here. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Another storage wardrobe section. And then it goes into the other bedroom section, which has now been all skimmed and sorted. Just the, uh, aqua board in here to do after but it's come along quite well can't remember if i just said but obviously flooring goes down then the boarding goes up then the plaster has come back so hopefully before christmas time this will be watertight and painted so it's all going off and then in the new year, the um, first of all, second fixed carpentry, like skirting boards and the kitchen, which is below me right now, will um, be able to start going up. So yeah. Oh, and of course the cladding and the external rendering. But all in all, it's come along all good. Right, so this is the small extension build that we're doing. Just following the profile of there to here. See Matty setting up the profiles now. Got the kit here, got board set down. So yeah, we'll uh, get set out. Right, 
guys, you've just seen me and Matt set out for the digging tomorrow. We've got a two profile set. See, outside, center of dig, see, center line. And then the inside, which corresponds to the red line for outside of dig. Well, this is the outside of the building. So it's squared off the two sections. And then this is outside of dig. 600 wide trench. So yeah, tomorrow, We've got a skip arriving that's going on the driveway. So I'm waiting, maybe an adaption to do to the guttering, because obviously our walls are here and we can get wall connectors up and vertical damp course chases as well. Ideal. Looking forward to starting a uh, new build. All right, it's Friday morning, the best day of the week. Quickly match to set out the inside line of the dig. But unfortunately, we have got an electric cable going right through, which lines up with that box on the garage. And a, well, the old downpipe there. So Matt's gonna dig out and find that one. And I'm going to uh, hopefully dig out, find, and not damage this electric here. Ideal. Well, it's fair to say that we were successful i've found the electric cable which you see is fairly easy because we know it's going to be in this vicinity so that's dug out so we can avoid that until it's um isolated and matt's found the drainage which sweeps around follows this channel so we'll be able to take the bend off flip it up and we've adapted this guttering which all the downpipe instead of being on here will be on this side we can um yeah, get the water under control. So just waiting for the skip to arrive because obviously filled up our two barrows and we can properly start getting this all dug out. All right, there we go. We've got our skip delivered. So hopefully we can start filling it. Ideal. All right, so I forgot to mention while we are waiting for the skip, we set out the all starter kits. So we've got our render, 20 mil, 100 mil wool, 125 cavity, insulation, and other wool. We will be having probably maybe 20 mil back, a vertical damp course trace, chase that needs to be cut in. Same with this side, but we had a bit of a, well, not a problem. You see, that is our render, but down the bottom, the house is well, you can see here the house actually kicks out about 20, well, 10, 15 mil down there up to a point which is up here where the house is plumb. So from top down to there, check with the levels, it is plumb and on the bottom the house starts to kick out. So what we'll have to do is build our plinth in line, set the block work back. 10 mil to allow the 10 mil render which is why this wall starter kit is set back so that is the wall there which is set back more down the bottom see 125 cavity and then the 100 mil wall obviously the skips here now um what we've just done quickly is took off the top section of the footing just need to cut off this little concrete slab in line but well also done the adaptions to the guttering found the drainage pipes so we're going to cut that reroute it so we can reset this section back here but yeah Skips here now. Didn't realise that we were getting one with a back door. So obviously we started filling it, but we just had to move it off the garage. Didn't realise when we were landing it, 
this is up tight so we just quickly shifted it still within the property lines just got to move that plank to the front to stop any um scuffing on the tarmac so we'll get set up and um start digging out i do This is the update of how it's going so far. About 500 deep here, and if you can see, we've came across the existing footing, which, if that is to spec, then um, should be minimum 250 concrete, which obviously 500 plus 250 gives us our 750 dig depth here. So, uh, get cracking. <laughs>
Well, we're all uh, cleaned up. Pretty successful Friday. This section of the trench, apart from the little section here, is down to 750. So you're lower than the existing footing. So just this section here to get out Monday. And we can pin out the levels ready for concrete. Just quickly lifted up all the boards just to let the grass breathe over the weekend so we don't end up killing it. So yeah, looking forward to uh, coming back Monday and getting this dug out and finished.